Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to straighten crooked images or crooked horizons using a built-in feature in GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.24 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. So thankfully, since this feature was introduced in GIMP 2.10.4, this task is really easy. As you can see here, I have a photo opened up in GIMP. The horizon is gonna be a little bit crooked here. The way we straighten this is we'll come over here to the toolbox and you'll see a tool called the measure tool. You can either click on it right here in the toolbox or you can use shift M on your keyboard. So that's gonna open up the measure tool and down here you'll see the tool options. I recommend keeping this set to auto. However, you also have options for horizontal and vertical orientation if you know you're gonna be straightening something that's vertical rather than horizontal. And then below that you have the straighten section here and you have transform modes. So you can straighten just your current layer, which in this case we only have a single layer, or you can actually straighten a selection area, a path, or the entire image. So that would include all layers on here if we had multiple layers. And then below that you have interpolation. So this is performing a transformation, which means that this will lose some quality once the transformation is complete. It's basically using the rotate tool. So the interpolation allows you to choose the quality and cubic is gonna be pretty low quality, but it'll be faster. Whereas no halo and low halo will be slower, but they will be better quality. I have an entire tutorial dedicated to how to scale images with minimal quality loss. I do cover interpolation methods and what they mean in detail in that tutorial, so definitely check that out. I'll just go with no halo here for now. And the clipping option here is for how GIMP is gonna handle the new layer that's created. So because we're using the straighten feature and this is rotating, the corners are basically gonna come up to here, for example, if we rotate to the right. And so the clipping option determines how you handle the new location of those corners. So if I come down here, you'll see we have adjust, clip, crop to result and crop with aspect. So adjust is just going to enlarge the layer size so that it fits the new location of the pixels. The clip option is gonna keep the original layer boundary except it's gonna cut out any pixels that go outside the layer boundary. Crop to result is going to crop everything so that it basically looks like a normal layer and it's gonna crop out all the excess pixels that maybe stick out of the original boundary. And crop with aspect is going to crop the final result but it's going to maintain the original aspect ratio of the image. So if you do wanna keep the original aspect ratio, I recommend going with crop with aspect. Otherwise, I typically go with crop to result. So once we have those settings selected, all I need to do is click and drag my mouse along the horizon I wanna straighten. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an actual horizon like you see here. But if I hold control and zoom in, you'll see the angle at which this is being corrected. So the little line here is gonna be the original and the longer line is gonna be the new angle. So once I'm ready to straighten this out, I can come over here and click straighten. If you're using a larger image like I am, this could take a couple moments. Otherwise, if you're using a small image, it should be pretty quick. Real quick, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. I have tons of free software tutorials on here, as well as help articles, so definitely check that out. You can get more content by becoming a DMD Premium member, and you can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy, and I'll include a link to this, as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. But here you'll see my final image, so the horizon has been straightened out. If you're not happy with the result, I recommend you undo it and try again because, again, this is a transform tool, which means if you were to just straighten this once again from this point, it's going to lose quality again. So every time you perform a straightening, it's losing quality. So I recommend undoing it and then retrying. But you'll see the layer boundary here has cropped out all of the excess pixels that kind of stick out of the layer boundary. But you'll see the side effect of that is we have all this empty transparency around the border. The easiest way to fix that is to go to image, crop to content, and that will just sort of shrink everything down so that we no longer have those transparent areas around the border. And let me just show you one more example here. So let's say we have a path that we drew using the pass tool. So let's just click and create a simple line here. And let's come back here to the measure tool. And if I come down here and change the transform option to path, and let's come over here to the paths tab and unhide this path. 
and come back here to the layers panel. So now if I draw this like so, and just follow that path there, and then come over here and hit straighten, you'll see now that's going to straighten that path to be a straight line. So again, this doesn't just work with layers, it works with paths, selections, or the entire image, including when you have multiple layers. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.